Let's Welcome. kick this off, shall we? Yeah, sounds good. All right. should, I, should I do it just like Chase? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Welcome to League of Loggers. That's pretty good. Episode 24? I think, I think so. 24. 24. Yeah, 24. So. That's always what Chase does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> week we're talking fun. about week eight yeah. of the Summer LCS. It was fun. As it always, did. I'm Curtis Curtis James. Got Heather Stormy and Chase Viking Redbeard has fucked off to Europe. Traitor. So what is dirty, it? Dirty, dirty traitor. Yeah, after how much Jeff talked about LEC, he went there and, <laughs> and now he's doing League of Loggers. <laughs> League of Loggers. Oh, he probably defected to the LEC thing. <laughs> yeah. Him. I mean, it's in Germany, so it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah they play in Berlin. That counts. All right. That's awesome. But, uh, so is it another just really good week of games? Yeah. Some unexpected stuff. I mm -hmm. feel like overall, the unexpected is expected at this point. Yeah, right? It's like, oh, somebody's going to lose games that they shouldn't. Yeah. Um, but at the end of last week, we just had TL locked into a playoff spot. Yeah. At the end of this week, week eight, we have three teams locked in. Mm -hmm. We got TL, saw that one coming. We yeah. got Cloud9, saw that one coming. CLG, beginning of the split, nobody saw that coming. Nobody saw that coming. But they are but locked, locked in, in yeah. and in fact, they're currently in second place. Sole possession, too. Not even <laughs> yeah. tied for second. They, yeah. got, they got it. Le second Liquid with 12 right wins, now. CLG with 11 wins, and Cloud9 with 10 wins. Everybody else falling back behind that. I mean, hats off to CLG. Mm -hmm. uh, kudos to Jeff. He called that one. He said CLG yeah, was job. a top four team. And they have shown up and, time yeah. and time again. Like Right now, I, I don't think there's any contesting it. When you are talking about, you know, the, where you kind of uh, tier list off the teams, mm -hmm. there's a top three. Yeah. It's TL, CLG, and Cloud9. I'm not going to give it a particular order because that's where it gets messy, and, yeah. and we can talk about that. But I, I mean, would still say TL's top. The contestion, in my opinion, comes from C9 and CLG. Well, but even then, TL just... They did just drop a game to C9. <laughs> and they've lost both to C9 yeah. this split. Yeah. So and yeah, they good. haven't swapped any players around. No. Like they they gained Jensen heading into this split. All right, no, into the season. Into the season yeah. yeah. As far as I know. Like so, TL so made no time. switches at all mm -hmm. this whole season. Mm -hmm. They played other like other than picking one, one up last split. Cloud Nine mm -hmm. rotates people in. Yeah. And uh, CLG obviously brought in Ruin and mm -hmm. uh, Wiggly became full time this split. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Ruin was actually just this split yes. too. You know, like this split. TL is just like, no, we've been playing this the whole season. Yeah. And yet they're still, like, dropping these games. Like, at this yeah, point, you, if know, you are absolutely the best, you would think you'd just always win those games. Yeah. But I don't know. I agree. I, I, I think they are the best, but I don't think by, it's by a margin. Okay. I think it's, I'll, I'll concede that. Yeah, I, it's, it's still slim. I mean, it's not, right. like, a few games. It's just two balls, two. Yeah. No, it's only one. It's only one. The other so, one. Yeah. Let's talk about CLG a little bit. Like, they've, they've earned just a, a bit of us, you know, mm -hmm. lavishing... Praise on them. In Ruin, what is it? Win game? Win lane, win game? <laughs> win lane, win game. Win game. Yeah. <laughs> Their Twitter feed was... Feud was fun. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think Ruin, I mean, obviously being the newest player, you're going to mm -hmm. have a critical eye on him. But he has been standout. Yeah. It, as sad as I was to see Darshan go, I said at the Me beginning too. of the split that Me I too. think it was a good move. We'll yeah. see how Ruin does. And he's been great. I think Ruin's doing better than uh, Darshan did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Yeah. But it's sad because I really like Darshan. I did like Darsion. Darsion. And now it never happens. No one plays it. And Aatrox is effing broken as shit. Yeah. So it's weird. And I know that's a little bit tangent, but they changed his ult. I just wanted to say that real quick. Yeah, his ult no longer revive. has it. It went from automatic revive on yeah. popping it to you had to get a kill to yes. get the revive to now there is no revive. Yeah. And they have bumped up the amount of regen yes, and so healing damage does. boost that yeah. he gets. Or, yeah, I shouldn't say uh, he, uh, regen, I mean um, lifesteal. Mm -hmm. They boosted the amount of lifesteal he's gotten every time they've made that change. And so, yeah, if he lands, mm -hmm. like, a two-man third Q, oh, yeah. he, boom, like, gains a thousand health. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy, because you figure people would slow down on playing him, and they're still playing him and still wrecking with him, so. Yeah, I mean, and Ruin being one of yeah, them, Ruin for being sure. One of them. Uh, you're seeing the so really cool. good top laners showing up on it. And honestly, even Hanser put up a mm -hmm. great... Uh, uh, day two performance on him yeah. this week, but yeah, CLG. I think Wiggly has really grown just I over really this like split. Wiggly. I've, and it's, 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 mostly because of the name, but if you have a name that dope, I'm glad you're doing well. Like seriously, yeah, I love the name Wiggly. Wiggly, good job. 
Um, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, they're doing real well. And then Biofrost, yeah. he should get a mention too. Yeah, Biofrost. So like I think Stixe has been role. much more consistent this split yeah. than he was last split mm-hmm. or the Silver Yos before that. Yeah. And uh, Power of Evil, well, he's not always popping off. Yes. He's generally not... Behind. He's not the reason they the lose, yes. it seems like. Yeah. Like, if they lose, it tends to be the bottom lane still. Mm-hmm. Or, like, Wiggly makes a few mistakes. Yeah. But, you know, in the past, I've seen Power of Evil struggle. When he was on Optic, like, yeah. he did struggle. And now, like, this split on CLG, he's really, like, brought it together. And that, that team's just good. They are. As a team, they play smart, and they have aggression. I, I think they still need to... Always have the confidence to close when mm-hmm. they're ahead because yes. they, they do hesitate here yes. and there. Not yeah. as bad as Hunter Thieves did last week, where it was like, "Okay, we're ahead. Let's let's not and let's go get Dragon and yeah. then wait and then get there." It's like not like CLG is not that bad. Yeah, but no, they're they're good, and I think uh, if they can just keep the confidence, they're they're going to be a definite threat here in the playoffs. I really, I'm really excited to see how they perform in a best out of five. Oh, it's, it's for sure that they're going to be playing best out of five. Yeah, right? yeah. Playoffs yeah. is all best cool. of fives. So I'm um, because I mean you know that may make or break teams. Some teams don't do well in that. Mm-hmm. You know? And I think that's the big question with them right yeah. now too. We've seen them in these single off games, and that's one thing. And like you obviously have to perform there. But when it comes to a best of five, especially over the course of like playoffs, if you win all round mm-hmm. and then you have another round, like how a meta forms, and then even within a best of five, it's like okay, well this is the power pick. We gotta get this away from them. Yeah. Can we play this instead of banning it? Like, what do you allow up? Different strategies. Oh yeah. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to see how CLG handles that because we haven't seen CLG in a playoff since 2017, which I wasn't around for. But I, so I'm excited to see it. Yeah. It's apparently a big thing. The only player who was on that team who's still there is Stixa. Oh really? Yes. He's the only one. Wow. It was Stixa. Welcome back, Stixa. First year with CLG right after they dumped Whoa, double lift cool. and he went to TSM. Yeah. Okay, I remember you talking about yeah. that. And then TSM, TSM dumped him. And then him for TSM dumped him for Sven. TSM. And now he's on TL, yeah. It's just Oh yeah, cuz it was Stixay, no, oh. Stixay, Aphromu, Darshan, <laughs> uh I think Smithy was still their jungler actually. Smithy. X Smithy. X Smithy. Oh, yeah. really? X Smithy, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, it, it's huh. been a while. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I think uh, I agree with Jeff. Uh, the top three we have right now really seems like the best three teams who should be going to Worlds. Mm-hmm. Like you've got. I two- would really like to see. I mean, if if CLG does well in these best of fives and the uh, playoffs, I would really like to see them in Worlds. I really would. Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, unless they win these playoffs, because uh, yeah, they didn't even make playoffs last split, right? No, they were like right because otherwise this wouldn't be the first time since 2017. Um. But, so, unless they win this split, they basically have to run the gauntlet. Mm-hmm. But, it's not unlikely they're entering gauntlet from the f- second or first position. Mm-hmm. So, that's not so bad. Yeah. I think uh, TSM ending up in first position is probably the most likely right now. Uh, and Cloud9 making it out is number two. Mm-hmm. Like, TL, Cloud9, one of them will probably make it out by winning, and then the other one will probably make it on points. Mm-hmm. Like, unless one of them misses their playoff by they yeah. don't get top two which cloud nine has a chance to miss that yeah and then they crash and burn first round okay because so they still <laughs> might have to run through the gauntlet yes it's, it's playoffs de- first place gets their to worlds yep and then the second based on points yep which is probably going to be c9 right yeah CN right now yeah probably it, it's be probably c9 or tl like if yeah. one of those two wins it all that's fair yeah then the other one will probably be points because they both got and good then points. there's a gauntlet to see one team out of the Rest the eight? No, no. Uh, or just top, the, the next four points teams. Get next in. four points. So teams. you okay. you can miss the gauntlet and yeah. have points if you're, you know, because technically you'd say, oh, number one has a ton of points and number two who got in on points. Yeah. And then so it's three, four, five, six. Yes. So four teams okay. don't even get a chance to make worlds. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that Oof. was FlyQuest last year. Okay. They missed it by like ten points. Oh, that sucks. We're yeah. gonna miss it again. But that's okay. It was disappointing. For Most them. likely. Well, they had the points on the first split anyway. Yeah. But, but that's I mean, cool. C- CLG, these playoffs, it's gonna be fun to watch. And yep. and still they they've got a test against them next week still. They mm-hmm. have Optic, who's been okay recently. Yeah. Not as good as they started I mean, the split. They're, they're, I'd say that they're below them in skill level at this point. Right. But... Yeah, oh definitely. But I mean they're they're not they're a pushover. Still yeah. Yeah, you you've still gotta be worried with Arrow yeah. in the bot lane, Meteos in the jungle. Less so Dokla in the top, but, mm-hmm. you know, 
they, they've got some stuff going on. Uh, and Crown, when he's playing well. I was gonna, you know, that's exactly what I was when gonna he say. Crown, when he's doing well. When he's not Crown quirking past the other team into yeah. a dead end jungle, like yeah. being like, oh, I guess I'm fucked. Yeah. Fucking hell, Crown. He um, likes making them big plays, but they don't always pan out. Yeah. That's Crown. That's, that it, that's exactly That's right. Crown you you got to go for it, man. Yeah. You miss 100% of the, sh- the Valkyries you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, and then okay. they also have 100 Thieves who have been surging. That's that's more of a challenge, in my opinion, than Optic. And, and 100 Thieves will almost definitely need that to try and make playoffs. Yeah. It's real close. Because they're real close. Which I think is a great segue into, let's talk about the bubble. So we've got our top three, they're in, right? Mm-hmm. And right below that, we have TSM tied with, uh, who is it? Oh no, TSM's alone. TSM's alone Yeah, so fourth. TSM's alone at fourth, so they're probably going to be in. If mm-hmm. they win one more game, they're in. Cool? Yes. So And they've got FlyQuest and TL, so it's not Ooh. easy. Yeah, no. But they should get a win. I'm and, not even going to say and, should at this point can, with how they're playing. They can also get in without winning. Yeah. It is possible. Okay. But here's the bubble. We've got two teams tied at fifth. Mm-hmm. Golden Guardians and Optic. Those two have been neck and neck all freaking split. Yeah. One will pass the other. The other comes back. They're tied. Whatever. Yeah. Um, and then we have right below them Clutch and 100 Thieves. Yep. So those four teams, mm-hmm. technically Optic and Golden Guardians are the last two spots in playoffs yeah. right now, but only one game behind them are the other two teams, and we had already talked about this last week. Clutch and 100 Thieves play, mm-hmm. Golden Guardians, and Clutch still have to play. Because yeah. uh, we saw the 100 Thieves Golden Guardian match went Golden Guardians way, which is now why 100's below. Yeah. Like, this isn't over yet. And then it's Optic, not. their out is CLG Cloud9. Yeah. I think each route out is is somewhat difficult for each of these teams for various reasons. Like, GG's have a C9 match, Optic has a C9 match, and then CG has 100 and Golden Guardians, which is both hard and around their skill level. And then 100 Thieves has CG and CLG, which is same skill level and higher skill level. They all have a hard route out. Yeah, none of them get to play a team who's below that. Nobody gets to play FlyQuest or Fox to end. Yeah. And that that's rough. Mm-hmm. And like, okay, if you're playing against TL, like uh, like TSM is, granted, like they're a really good team, but at the same time, they may have locked in their buy. Yeah. If they, if they beat FlyQuest, they've locked in a buy. Yeah. And they're good to go. Cloud 9s gonna want a two zero. Yeah. Because they want a buy. If they CLG drops yeah. a game and Cloud 9 2 0s, then they're tied and they play off for the buy. They play off for the buy. Yeah. They so would we do, get an extra game. They would do happens? a one game playoff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would yeah. be cool. <laughs> uh, I'd be down for that if that happens. I mean, I don't know how it's going to shake out, but anyway, I get an extra CLG C9 match. I'd oh, be God, yeah. It. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it, oh. I don't know. It's, I think 100 the uh, The one team that owns their own destiny is Clutch. Yeah. Because if they beat 100 Why? Thieves, 100 Thieves isn't tied with them. If they beat Golden okay. Guardians, even if Golden Guardians won their other match, then they are tied with Golden Guardians, mm-hmm. and they own the head-to-head because they beat them back in week two. Okay. So if Clutch wins out, they make playoffs. Okay. That's the, like, they totally own their own fate, like, in every mm. way. I, I mean, granted, like, technically Opti- Optic and Golden, and, uh, Golden Guardians do too, because they're ahead. So if they win both games, they, they win out. But they both have Cloud9 to face. Okay. Which I think makes it harder to own your own fate. Yeah. You know? Well, Cloud9's very hit or miss, but they're generally a good, solid right. team. I think with them fighting for that buy, they, they're going to they're, they're, they're go I, I feel like Sneaky better show up. <laughs> yeah. I know, to touch on that real quick, I think like people got must have gotten into his head when they were talking about like who missed more kill shots on this or that. Like They had to have gotten in his head or something. Oh? They, they Why do you say that? Because they subbed in deftly. I don't think that had anything to do with Sneaky. I, well, I mean, it had to. It's Sneaky's position, ADC. Like, he doesn't run the team. He's the player. So they got into the coaches' heads? No, I, I so uh, let, let's talk about real Cloud9. Quick, quick. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we kind of covered the bubble yeah. pretty well. I, I want to come back to that just to ask real quick. Well, how, how yeah, many tiebreakers can we have, do you think? I mean, a lot. Yeah. It's, it's possible to have a lot of tiebreakers. Because okay. say, I, I don't know mathematically if Golden Guardians, Optic, Clutch, and Hunter Thieves can all end up tied, mm-hmm. but if they do... That's what I'm wondering. But There'd be we'll no one team who out. owns all the tiebreakers or whatever. Like, if yeah. one team is like, oh, yes, I 2 0 against all the other three, then they get it automatically. Yeah. But that won't be the case. So then they would end up doing, uh, they, they would draw randomly, yeah. and they would face off in twos, and the winners of those would face off 
Or actually, or yeah, the winners would face off, and then the loser would face the winner of the other two or something. So they would end up playing one, two, three, four more games, five more games. That's what I'm wondering. I'm something wondering how like that. Many yeah, no, it's it's great. Or they, there's a different way they've run it before too, where it was like because it depends on how many spots are open mm-hmm. and how many teams are tied. And I think they did that once where they did the winners. Oh no, no, they did. So they did random split off because this mm-hmm. happened a year ago. It was four teams tied for the last two spot, spots. They split off into random pairs. Mm-hmm. Those winners de- made it in automatically. Yeah. And then they uh, played against each other to see who was fifth and who was sixth seed. Oh, okay. So it's going to be the winners of those 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 two brackets if it takes out into four teams. And then they play off for their... J- just for the seating Just within. for the seating. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what they right. did last summer. It sucks for the other two teams, but... Yeah, because... I mean, that's la- really how you got to find out. Last yeah. summer that happened, and 100 Thieves... Got that's what six I'm seed for. off of it, and because I feel yeah. like that's really gonna settle in who deserves those spots. Because yeah. right now it's just a big jumbled mess of these teams are all pretty much at the same school. Yeah. Well, and I think this time it's more it would settle it more because last season it was more so hundred thieves backslid into that spot. Oh really? And then <laughs> continued to backslide into worlds off of that. Good for them. Yeah. But... Well, they had been really good in summer, mm-hmm. and then they like sucked ass and. Or they've been good in spring and sucked ass at the end of summer. Yeah, it was gotcha. a, it was a mess. Reverse this year though. Yeah, there, there's a Don't reason Chase that. is still angry at them. <laughs> All right, so let's okay. move off the bubble then. To C9. Let's talk about Cloud Nine. Yeah, and day Death one we saw. So last week we talked about the trade. Mm-hmm. Uh, Keith went from Cloud Nine to Golden Guardians uh, Academy teams, and Deftly from Golden Guardians Academy recently uh, replaced by FBI, mm-hmm. who's doing well. Up and down. I. He's doing mm, well. I say up and down on that one. <laughs> I mean, for his first couple games, I ain't gonna fault the dude. Yeah, all right, fair. There was one game where he did. Oh, he absolute, fed super he, hard yeah, against Team he Liquid. He walked down the road and he just fed field. double lift. I will say, in these last, obviously, this past weekend, he did amazing. But yeah. we're not talking about FBI right now. So, we're talking about Deathly. Yeah, so Deathly yeah. over to Cloud Nine, and he saw play day one yes. this week. I was surprised that they put him. I in. I was surprised as well because he's only been with them a week. Yes. Now I know, like, a couple years ago, like two years ago, he was on Cloud Nine Academy back mm-hmm. then. But that's still, that's, that. it's a whole different squad yeah. now. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, you know, you know, you know Sneaky, mm-hmm. and Sven Skarin wouldn't have been around yet at that point. And like, oh, okay, you know Sneaky. Yeah, <laughs> I know Sneaky. And, and, and Jack, it. and like the coaching staff and yeah. stuff, he, he knows them. But yeah, I did not expect to see him either. No. And he eh, could have done better. Yeah, I mean, they just didn't read what was going on. And of course, that gank by, who was it? Freaking... Oh, like with Santorin. Santorin, yeah. He walks down from, like, the red buff all the way through the river, all the way through the tri brush to gank him. He made a freaking journey to come to the bot lane. It's a and smart fucking It gank. was. It was really a genius play because not only did it succeed, but you tilted the fucking bot lane. You straight tilted him in the first two minutes of the game. Three minutes, maybe. <clears throat> yeah. Uh... It was really... I mean, and I think that was the good play for their team. They probably talked about it on their comms. They're like, we need to go hard on bot lane real quick because it's deathly. Like, he's not going to have that same synergy with Smoothie. He's not going to have the cohesive uh, with the, the entire Zazel. team. Oh, sorry, Zazel. Thank yeah. you. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, my bad. And um, it was just really smart because, yeah. And no, they, I... They, I think Sneaky probably would have been more prepared for that game. Sneaky absorbs pressure so yeah. well. Like, granted, he's generally not like busting out winning the lane. Yeah. But the thing is, it's he, he he absorbs pressure. He's like impact is in the top lane mm-hmm. a lot of the time. Like every now and then, yeah, he wins lane. Impact does that more often, but that's also because generally speaking, top lane's left the fuck alone it's a lot more. In bot lane, somebody's ganking down there. Mm-hmm. If your side isn't, their side is. Yeah. And when you're cloud nine, your side's not ganking bot. Yeah. You're going sneaky, you're going to survive. He's like, yeah, I got this. Yeah. And then he shows up in the team fights. Mm-hmm. And C9 should have put their jungler at bot lane or something. To They either needed to have warded somewhere on that side, because they didn't have one in the river bush or the tri bush. Yeah, they were so probably they were between blind. timers on it or That's something. That's probably true. But then they, they, they needed to have the jungler on that side to protect them, especially if you're going to be running Or play someone. further back. And, yeah. And, and that yeah. is, I think, something you would expect to see out of somebody who's only been on that team a week. Agreed. You you can't adjust your play style that much. Because, I mean, on Golden Guardians, Hanser is getting some attention. Mm-hmm. Paul Belter's pretty... He, he's the one who's left alone to absorb. Yeah. Like, if he's going to get a win in the lane, it's going to be off shit. himself, usually. Or, like, a gank. Yeah. They actually do send uh, uh, contracts, contracts yeah. bot quite a bit. Yeah. And so to go from like, hey, I have you know, 
I bet if you looked at, I wish I had the stat up. Mm -hmm. I should have thought of this. If you looked at the stat of uh, jungle proximity mm -hmm. from bot lane, from Golden Guardians to Cloud9, I bet it's one of the highest to one of the lowest. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm it with wouldn't that. shock me at all. Contracts being high for his bot lane and. Yeah, and exactly. Then, Contracts is probably one of the ju Garen junglers like, who spends the most time bot. Minutes. Yeah. Mm hmm. See and see yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's sneaky for you. And I. I don't know why what we were talking about. I don't know why they put him in. I don't know what the issue was. I don't know if Sneaky brought it up to them or if the coaches came to him and said, we're doing this. But I definitely think that they didn't need to do that. And yeah. I think that they were trying to take advantage of the fact that it was FlyQuest. I, I definitely agree there. And that's silly because FlyQuest, I mean, they're trash, but they're also not trash. I mean, right. if it was Echo Fox, you'd probably really get away with it. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I, no, I, and I think, uh, I think uh, it's... I don't in any way think uh, Sneaky made that decision. Mm -hmm. And they talked about it on the desk a little bit. So I missed that. But go ahead. Yeah, so they talked about it on the desk. Not that Sneaky didn't have anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. But they talked about this. Like, why was Deftly being played? Mm -hmm. And they talked about the seven-man roster. Mm -hmm. I remember for that. Okay, yeah, yes. for NA yeah. playoffs, you get two subs. And last year, we saw Cloud9 bring in Golden Glue and Blabber. Mm -hmm. And we've seen them this year in this split, more so this split. Last split, they didn't really do anything. Like, they, we saw Blabber played a couple times. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Licorice w wanted to sit out due to injury and recovering mm -hmm. his wrist, which uh, hurt rock climbing, apparently. I don't know if I mentioned that last week or not. No, I, I, no, I, I got that tidbit. It was rock climbing how he injured it. Huh. Um, but yeah, he wanted to sit out. So yeah. we saw Kumo for two weeks. Yep. And now... And, so the, the desk was kind of talking about it. It's, all right, so if you're going to bring in two subs, sure, you're probably going to do Blabber because he's seen a lot of stage time. Mm -hmm. Also, he, he has some, you know, picks he's really good at. Yeah. Honestly, when Sven Skarin's the MVP of the fucking league, most likely, especially again after this week. Like, last week, he was kind of, like, quiet. It's like, oh, man, not a great week. And then this yeah. week, he just, like, fucking slaps his giant cock on the table on again. On his second game, I mean... Right. Well, game one, he didn't lose because of him. That's fair, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. he was trying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, game two, he was just like, oh, I'm gonna be 0-1-12 and 12 on, was it Sejuani? Or Gragas. He was like 0-1-12 yeah. Gragas or some shit. It was... All of his barrels were amazing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so basically you're saying... Blabber's probably not going to be the person because Vince Garen's showing Right, up. but you probably take him anyway just because subbing a jungler is easy and good. Over Kumo? Well, you get to take two. Okay, so you're thinking Kumo and Blabber. Probably. I, well, so I think I'm okay th with what that. they were doing I'm was okay testing it this week. Yes. Because we've with never Jeff. even seen Diamond play. And yeah. I think... No, we've seen him once. They played their entire When they played academy. the whole team, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we haven't, okay with we haven't seen Diamond. Yeah. And I, I don't think that they think he's ready for yeah, the main stage. I and I think also um, what Zazel brings to the team in comms mm -hmm. is too important to take him yes. out. That's the other impression I, I get. Okay. So you're not gonna get uh, not gonna have Zazel on the bench. So mm -hmm. okay, it's not support. Uh, mid lane, Niski's been crushing it. Mm -hmm. He's one of the best, if not the best, mid laner in the mm -hmm. LCS this year. It's I love it's Niski. him or Jensen. It's got to be right. I love Niski. I, I said it last split. I was like, I love Niski. He's great. I do think he sometimes drops games. Right. But overall, he's really impressive. He can hold his own. Mm -hmm. He can gank well, or he can respond with a gank well, you know. And he's got team presence. Yeah. Like, it's, he's, he's Generally, when he's, he's done poorly, I think it's because they have a bad draft. Okay. I'll like, his shit. Vladimir game yeah. two weeks ago or last week or whatever, like, it, was, it wasn't a great team draft. Mm -hmm. you know, like, and not that a bad team draft means he can't play well. He should still play well. But it's usually not in a vacuum. Like, I'm not. No one plays well every single time, basically. Yeah. But Nizgi's getting close. <laughs> like he's up there. And um, he, he played Kiana uh, both games this week. No, I don't think so. No, no, he played Twisted Fate the first yeah. game. Uh, but yeah, he played Kiana in game uh, day two, and he just just. Is that the one where he like turret dived with Spence Garen and then blew up the Jensen in two hits? Or yeah. was that? No, I think that might have been it, Clutch. No, 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 I mean, it would have been Jensen. And no, yeah. They played Flight yeah. day one, so, yeah. Yeah, and then the... Yeah, because she's, she's an AD assassin. Jat was like, he pressed all these buttons in the right order. You can't really see it, but I assure you that's what he did. I'm like, yeah. I have no idea what just happened. They went under the turret, he died, she left. And that's that why, it. like, we see this Kiana, great. like, we've seen it played a few times in NA. Yeah. And you see it be kind of, ah! Yeah. And it's because she, think AD assassin along the lines of Zed and Talon. Yeah. 
She's more complicated than Zed and Talon, though, because yeah. all the stuff they do is just like, okay, what do I want to do? Besides Talon being able to jump over a wall, but that's just like an engage or an escape tool. Yeah, that's a normal Her thing. actual combat involves dashing towards sources of power mm-hmm. and then using them correctly. Yeah. Fucking stupid complicated. Yeah. I don't understand it at all. I'm yeah. simple-minded over here. Well, she is 200 IQ player, or champion. Fucking at least. He... he demolished with it was great yeah that well, means, and we saw his aurelia last week where yeah. he did the fucking stupid outplaying the yeah. top like, like he literally went back yeah to escape. like so you see him he's pretty good are you I gonna play him. golden glue as a sub are you really only if what we were talking about before we started this oh, well, we'll, if we'll get there leave yeah. that one okay so you're not gonna play golden glue instead of niski though correct right yes that's not happening okay unless so, niski's dead so it's not diamond over zazel it's not golden glue over yeah. niski mm. uh it's not blabber over You'll Smith keep Karen. the blabber in there, but you're not going to put him in. No. He, he's there just in case you, mm-hmm. like, uh, you're like, oh, we're watching this jungle pattern. Okay, we're going to put blabber in because he he's had that whole game to, like, concentrate yeah. on the jungle pattern and he's going to play the Hecarim or some shit. I don't know. And then, yeah, we've got uh, Licorice in the top and we've seen Kumo two mm-hmm. weeks. He's good at fighting. He's not good in lane. Yeah. He doesn't CS and manage uh, waves well. Yeah. He's, he's not good at that. Not as nearly as well as like the other ones. So, so maybe you play Kumo, but probably not. You know, I'm thinking maybe Blabber and, and then Golden Glue, right? Well, and so and then, then here's what seven. we talked about. Like, yeah. So they played deftly to see if, okay, maybe him and Steph's sneaky. I'm sorry. This is You're happening. good. Oh, there's Cleavix here. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Um, the nose keeps fucking leaking. Yeah. I have no idea why. But, like, okay, so we saw the Deathly, Deathly play just to get, like, because if Deathly played really well, then maybe you do bring him as your sub. Yeah. But I don't think so. I, I just don't think he's going to adjust fast I enough don't think, yeah, I to don't a think, low pressure Especially after that game, I don't think they're going to bring him. I yeah. don't know why they were really considering it in the first place. He spe- they just, just picked a case. Him up. No, because <laughs> even, even then, you have better I, Academy I, players that could be subbed into other lanes. Well, I, I, yeah. But I think you, I understand giving it a shot. Of because if he of played course. well, we would be talking about this entirely differently. We would, be. we would be. I didn't. I honestly didn't expect it to go well, though. I really no. didn't. I, I think he's even. It's going to take too likewise. long to adjust to a low pressure, a low income, a low resource mm-hmm. bot lane. Yeah, that's not what he's used to. Mm-hmm. He's mid to high resource bot lane, and he's not double lift. Like they're not giving him everything. Yeah, but he's not sneaky. Where it's like, don't worry, I got it. Yeah. Just do shit elsewhere. So then you had the idea though. <clears throat> What if we pl- they brought along Golden Glue mm-hmm. and maybe had a mage bot lane, Golden Glue, and Zazel? Mm-hmm. And I think that's fucking interesting. I think that would work. I think it would work better than having Deathly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's just me. I mean, that's what I'm... Like, yeah. you could even throw Niski down there and put Gragas on Zazel and then Niski on Yasuo bot lane and have Golden yeah. Glue mid. I mean, you have oh, a lot of true. options. True. I, I didn't even think about it. You could do the Yasuo <laughs> Gragas bot. Um, I don't know if Zazel has Gragas. Oh, him. I'm sure he does. Inventory repertoire. I mean, he, he could play something else too, mm-hmm. but I, I bet he That's does. That's true. There's other champs that knock up and hook and do things like yeah. that. But. Knock up and hook. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying. Blitz has the. the I'm just saying both of those Blitz. can be sexual. Oh. <laughs> I mean, knock I up, hook. <laughs> That's fair, but I don't think they run that way. No, no. I don't think so. Uh, so, oh. okay, personally, I think. Cloud Nine, you know, you'll, they'll have their subs along, yeah. but I don't think any of them are going to see play, honestly. Mm-hmm. I really don't. But, Unless someone's, like, sick or injured. But what two do you think should be brought? Um, I'm going to say probably Blabber and Golden Glue. Yeah. Blabber? I, until you had said, like, the flexibility thing with Golden Glue, I would have said Blabber Kumo. Mm-hmm. But I like that flexibility idea, yeah. and I think you're probably right. I honestly. mean, we'll see. Yeah, we, we, we will see. Um, so... Really, that's, that's most of the breakdown of the season. Echo Fox, still the only team that's eliminated, because mm-hmm. we talked about the two and the two down Which there. Which is surprising. I'm surprising fl- I'm Fly surprised Quest, Fly didn't get if eliminated. they win both games and everything else goes wrong for a bunch of teams, yeah. they can make it. <laughs> but basically, they, they're relying on other teams to lose. Yes. Which is they do not, not a control, position you want to be in. Winning two games promises them nothing. Mm, I've, there's probably literally one scenario in which they make it out. Yeah. Like, minusing... Well, let's see. Uh, TSM's involved. So, uh, okay, TL's games probably don't matter. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. That's probably the only team who doesn't affect if Fly makes it out. Damn. <laughs> so, I'm not going to count them out, because obviously this entire split has been wonky and nothing goes according to plan. Right. But I'm expecting Fly not to make it. No, As no. Is. Not at all. 
and then and then it's gonna be that bubble. The bubble should be fun. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm way more excited for this bubble than I was last split's bubble. <laughs> yeah, no, it, well, because it's coming oh, down to the bubble. last week, which is always exciting. Mm-hmm. Like. I'm disappointed we weren't able to go to LCA. Like, what I wanted to do was be there for this week nine. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, how hyped would you be if we would? Oh, shit. That'd See? be dope. That's okay. why it was, it was so fun last year. And we're like, okay, we're going to do it again. And shit didn't yeah. work out. I mean. Are you going to go to playoffs, maybe? I don't have the money for it right That's now. Fair. That's fair. But, um, yeah, like, we'll do it again next year. We'll get, we'll get it back. Because mm. week nine is so much fun. Okay, so do you know when playoffs are or not? For this year? Yeah. Yeah, immediately following. The Just the week after? Yeah, if they start that week. They're not all at once. I don't remember. So, oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So there'll so be the first, the first round. Shit, yeah. The second shit. Um, so you'll have the, uh, all but the, the first round by teams. Mm-hmm. They'll play quarterfinal. And then the first round time by teams will play the winners of those semifinals the next week. So that's and the, then the finals the week after. August, yeah. Basically. So there's, there's three weeks of playoffs yeah. and then one week of gauntlet. Okay. Gotcha. And then we'll probably have like two or three weeks off at least yeah. until Worlds. I was hoping it would line up with uh, PAX because a long time ago, PAX 2012, I think, in West they Coast, used they to had do it. league yeah. there. Mm-hmm. And that's how I really got into it, I think, because I was just walking by and I was there. It was huge. Like, I just walked by, like, this one part of the uh, convention and there's all these people for freaking league and they're watching it and they're cheering. And I'm like, what the hell is this? They're like, this is League of Legends. I was like, oh, that's cool as shit. And then she was like, do you want a skin? I was like, Oh, yeah, sure. PAX Silver? No, it yeah. was Arcade Sona. Ar- oh dang! So I got Arcade Sona that nice. way. I don't have any more, that. obviously. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! But that's how I really got into it. Uh, Cause I was like, "Well, let's go type this code in." I got Arcade Sona. I was like, "Let's play this champion." <laughs> yeah, and I love it, Arcade Sona. Arcade Sona that. was like the first skin I've spent money on. Yeah, it yeah. was pretty. It was a great skin. DJ Sona trumps it by a lot. I but... still pull. I have DJ Sona too. DJ Sona's. A um, I still pull skin. out the Arcade Sona from time to time just yeah. cause she's, she's so, so fucking cute. classic. Yeah. God, yeah. she was one of the best skins in the game for a long time. Really? Cool. Just because just she's know, so like, fun and, and colorful. It, like yes. people, oh, yeah. people are like, oh yeah, she's fun to play Sona. too. Just buttons. Yeah, she's, she's got a <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> and, like the stars going off yeah. the ribbons in her hair. Like, come yeah. on, she's baller. Yeah. Um, and then of Anyways. course the the things she throws out and it's oh, all yeah. like DDR pad, oh, alt yeah. and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah, um, a lot of fun. Um, so I was hoping it would line up with PAX and they do it there or something, but it's not happening. I don't think no. they really have a contract with no, PAX anymore th- so to do it. They, so they, did, they used to do PAX and you would do Gamescom and what was the other thing? Uh, there's something in Dallas, I think. I that, uh, that's where like spring split finals would be. And stuff. But yeah, they used to do that stuff and they just do all their own stuff. Because the, the event's too big now. Yeah. They rent a fucking arena. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, they're yeah. in Detroit this time. Yes. So, and I, I caught, apparently they're doing uh, semifinals and finals there. Oh, really? Because one of the announcers that uh, getting the first round by uh, guarantees you go to uh, Detroit, mm-hmm. which means semifinals happen, you know, That's there. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So it's interesting. I'm not going to Detroit for that, but thank you. <laughs> Keep a better city next time. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> I, I'm, if, I want them to do one Sorry, in Denver. Detroit. <laughs> They did Chicago when I was near Chicago, but yeah. I was busy at the time oh, and I couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, what what they did? What did they do for for split this year? Uh, St. Louis. Yeah, St. St. Louis. I, I, I was real close I to St. Louis. So where I lived but... before here, I was basically two hours from Chicago, two hours from St. Uh, Louis. Oh, that's cool. Wait, yeah. I thought it, was it St. Louis or was it? Um, no, it was St. Louis. You're right. No, St. Louis. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miami was last year. <sighs> Uh, it was Miami for spring split last year, and then summer was Toronto, I believe. Mm. Or Vancouver. Still, that'd be cool. One of the two. I'd have to get a passport. But sure. Yeah. But it... it no, no, it's Canada. You don't need a passport for Canada. You don't? I could have sworn you need... Even if you're flying Pretty to Canada. Pretty sure Canada, Canada still has open border oh, for cool. uh, U.S. citizens. What, for driving or for flying? Both? Working on both? Yeah. <laughs> I I've think so. never been out of the country. I live 15 minutes away from Mexico, and I never went. They used to have open border with U.S.? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mexico, you It could. doesn't, can confirm. Oh, yeah. 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 Awesome. Christian would know. <laughs> he would know. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, All right. fuck it. Um, Anything else? Are we... No, I, I think Were any of the games interesting this week to talk about we, specifically? Okay, uh, Golden Guardians busted out the top lane Tristana. Oh, uh, yeah. I put E... I looked at my... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and Haunter played it well. <laughs> yeah. Um, now I'm super tempted to just fucking play her top lane. 
Uh, <laughs> I, I know like, her well enough. I, I, I was playing yesterday and I saw her fucking mid lane. Yeah. Yeah. Someone like, else played her. Or did I? It was a top lane. lane. I don't know. We saw yeah. a 380 carry team. Mm-hmm. It was Vayne, Cog, Trist, I think, or yeah. some shit. I think, like, maybe we should, like, just touch on touch on some of the games. TSM versus Fox. Like, <sighs> okay. Really so, yeah, we didn't talk about TSM. Um, let, let's do a quick hit on TSM. They, they deserve it after this <laughs> past two. <week. laughs> Bring up probably the oldest League of Vloggers quote there is. And this is the full quote, no replacements made. Okay. We're not mad, TSM. We're just disappointed. <laughs> That's it? That's it? <laughs> it's always TSM. It's so accurate. TSM. <laughs> You're supposed oh, to be good. What the fuck are you doing? They're barely squeaking out these wins lately. When they do win. Because, I mean, we should say yeah, that they They barely losing. beat Echo Fox. Yeah. It was Echo like Fox. type type play. Lore low playing Echo Fox. Too. Yeah. Like, Mike Young oh, got in two goodness. really good ganks early, and then they almost won off of that, even though he didn't play great in the middle. Yeah. Like, GSM just finally won it on a back door. Mm-hmm. If they don't have the Tom Kench ult, <laughs> or if Tom Kench is dead, or if Silas isn't big enough to go with him and kill the Nexus at yeah. that point, they lose. They lost that. That if, game was over. any of those conditions didn't happen. Yeah. Right? They had the Tom Kinchel. Silas had enough damage behind him to do it. No one backed quick enough to stop it. And, like, a couple people I don't think you backed. could even. That Silas yeah. took out in, like, four autos. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, they should have fucking sent someone back. They, that they did. Buff. They TP'd back immediately. Like, somebody was yeah. TP'ing back. Somebody was back. Like, they tried. Yeah. But it literally took him four seconds to That's take true. the entire well, Nexus. Because I remember them which, sitting in that butch. They were backing first. They they were, like, halfway through their recall. Yep. Stopped right. it. And then Tom Kinch ult. So, from their view, they couldn't. They could only see, like, one or two players from Echo Fox. Mm-hmm. And so they were recalling because they're like, I guess we have... Like, yeah. if they're not all here, then maybe we maybe can defend, we can. install... Yeah. And then the moment they saw four or five, they that they ulted. Yep. That's yep. what they were waiting on. And, yeah, like, oh, man. Or had it there was... been a ward over there, yeah. and one person went yeah. back to stall that, like, all these things. Cause three they people... got lucky walking over to was that Was it bush. two or three people were dead? Uh, the three people were on TSM. There was okay, so, yeah, those two, two were the only two alive. Yeah. And literally, and like they were, all like, 30-second timers left. Yeah. Like, maybe 20 at the smallest end. Mm-hmm. But still, 20 with five Baron people, you're, you're getting through the base. It's over. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a smart call wow. by them, but basically pulling it out of your ass like that—that's not what we want to see from TSM. That's that was right. well, and then they <laughs> go up against hundred thieves and did not. They got look dominated. Good. Fucking ten to two <sighs> on turrets, twelve to two on kills, four to one dragon. Yeah, I mean it's like I said earlier. Come I was on, saying man. Niski, I think's been the best mid laner in the LCS this split, mm-hmm. and a lot of that has to do with a handful, but especially this weekend, disappointing performances out of Bjergsen. Yeah. Bjergsen has been the best, like, he has been one or two, usually one top mm-hmm. laner, or mid laner mm-hmm. in the LCS ever since he got here in 2014. Wow. He's been dropping the ball. That's yeah. Like, His sixth year in the league, and finally one split, he's not top two. Because yeah. nice. I'd say it has to be Jensen and Niski right now. Yeah. And it, it was Jensen and Bjergsen for, like, three years. Mm-hmm. And before that, it was, like, Jensen, or, uh, um, Bjergsen and, like, Poe Belter or somebody, you know, like, it was always, it was Bjergsen. Bjergsen has won so many friggin' MVPs, it's ridiculous, mm-hmm. you know? He's got so many titles being on TSM, it's ridiculous. And this was not a great performance. And when we have Broken Blade, who's been playing pretty damn well. Yeah. Like, he was good last split, he's better this split. Or, he was. I think now he's weird in this i don't know what's yeah, going on well, all of the entire team almost i <laughs> honestly i, I and yeah. zven and smoothie i think smoothie's still really good down mm-hmm. there i think zven's playing probably his best he's played on tsm right now yeah honestly i i've got to lean a little bit into your camp here i think i'd rather have grig than acadian i like acadian's aggression i just think grig plays with that team better i think grig now we haven't seen him this year again. Because, yeah. I mean, like, he was out for, what, an entire split? Yep. And they didn't Due even to play injury, him. And then they only played him a couple times. Yeah, if they play him, like, two full weeks straight, like, if he got, like, Kumo, where it was like, okay, you're going to play four games, you're getting all of the first team practice, whatever, mm-hmm. like, we're not spending any time, and he doesn't perform mm-hmm. on the second week, fine. Yeah. But I don't feel like he was given that chance. Yeah, I, that, that's basically what it is. Because I didn't see much of Grig. I just don't feel like he was given much of a chance. His skill level, from what I've seen, was on par with Acadian. But Acadian makes 
huge mistakes. Like, huge mistakes that should, a jungling 101 that should not be made on an LCS stage. And I hate to bring it up again, but I got to. You don't pick up a Rift Herald. You drop it in the middle of the lane when you do pick it up to get it stunned. You, there was one game in the spring split where I keep going back on where he made the call to wander around in the jungle before basing to try and stop the other team who eventually won instead of trying to uh, base race. Because even if you had still lost, at least you were a lot closer. Yeah. And it, um, and there's just a lot well, of things like wasn't that. wasn't it, it was Acadian uh, against Cloud9, I think. It wasn't TSM versus Cloud9 two, three weeks ago, where they didn't use it up top. Mm -hmm. Or no, that was 100 Thieves who didn't use it up top against somebody. They should have used it, and oh, yeah, they, yeah. they didn't. Yeah. I think flakes. that was against Cloud9 yeah. two weeks ago. But was it, was it TSM or 100 Thieves who then instead went and tried to drop it mid lane and Kumo came in with the Aatrox and, like, hit that him. That was TSM. That's Hayden, yeah. because we were uh, busting up. Okay, yeah. Like, on Kaden, for getting oh. stunned out of dropping Yeah, so, like, he didn't, he didn't pick it up. He didn't view. Yeah, there's early ones this year. He didn't pick it up. Yeah. And then there's that one where he... Yeah. Or I guess that was last split already, wasn't it, where he didn't pick what? it up? The didn't pick it up was spring split. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, yeah, and then... Mm -hmm. Like, why Why would you Portal, walk that close yeah. to the turret to channel it? That's the dumbest shit. Everybody channels it from river, because yeah. at least then you have some safety. So, like, I mean, uh, again, I like Acadian. I just don't think he... Yeah. When people were giving him all that kind of praise and stuff a couple weeks ago, I'm like, I don't see it nearly as well as you guys do, but okay, whatever. <laughs> like, No, I agree. I, I think... Uh, or, he'll, or he'll, like, miss smites. Because there was, like, a couple games where there were smite fights, and the supports got the smite. Yeah, well, we've seen quite a bit of uh, the Summoner Spellbook, yeah. so that you yes. have two smites yes. on the team. Yeah. Which is smart. I definitely agree with that. And it yeah. secures a Baron one way or the other. But we've so. seen it, too, where like he burns smite in a fight mm -hmm. on someone, and then he doesn't have it for the objective afterwards. Yes. And if you win the fight off that smite, fine. But if you don't, now you also can't win the objective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I think he just needs to make better decisions. Like, if he really just stop to think a second instead of like I feel like his head's one step ahead or trying to be he's like trying to go on to the next step where he should have been more concerned with the first part yeah. like yeah. execute that first and then go on to the next part and I think it might be a, like a bit of a pressure thing too oh definitely like, we're, yeah. I mean he's been on teams that were like fighting for playoff contention and stuff mm -hmm. before but being that on TSM is a different level of pressure mm -hmm. oh yeah he's got and like knowing you have Grig behind you yeah I'm just waiting to take that that, that adds back. a little more back. pressure to yes. take that spot back. Exactly. Yeah. Like I like Acadian. Huh. I would I would love to see him keep playing in pro, but he has got to be better at That's it. That's a substitution I won't be surprised to see. If we see TSM play Greg in playoffs a couple games, yeah. not most of the games, a couple. I, I feel like that, that would be surprise super me. rude, but it's whatever. I mean, I'm not the coaches. Whatever gets you the wins, to be honest. Right, that's, yeah. That's but literally, literally like, what the game is. Say, say they lose game one and two of a best of five. I'm playing Grig game three if Acadian hasn't been playing great. Yes. If, if I feel like Acadian's lost, made some yeah. mistakes, I'd just be like, all right, Grig, you got it. Like, you have two options there. You either go, Grig, it's on you. Mm -hmm. Or you, you, you're, you leave Acadian in that spot and you're like, it's do or die. Yeah. If you lose this game and look bad too, like... He would know it in his head, and so I guess it matters. Yeah. Do you think mentally he'll be able to withstand that? Because well, he has. He has even if been. you don't say it, but I know, like he has done game that. three. Yeah, you have to get three mm -hmm. three wins in a row already. That, well, he's done that. Acadian has done that, which is oh, right. really I guess that was last cool, point. Yeah. Right. So he's got like that. True. He's got that do or die pressure that he can come back right. and fuck. Because they reverse swept Cloud Nine. Yeah, right. yeah. And I forgot know, about it's, that. Uh, it's so okay. It's like, I tried so hard to forget about weird. Such a weird. I don't case know. Case study. Play style. Yeah, case yeah. study is a good word for it. <laughs> yeah. So I, if I was TSM, I would honestly let Acadian write it out. They lose two games, play Acadian. Play Acadian, see if he reverse sweeps again. If he doesn't, bring Grig back in for the next split. Because that's that's yeah. really what well, you Well, you got a whole doing. off season at that point. Chances are that, that the team comes back exactly how it is. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, I think it's fairly high. Unless Fen wants to leave. I, I don't think Bjergsen would be retiring. I think they would keep Broken Blade because mm -hmm. he's new and has done well. Um, you try. You'd want Bjergsen if he's not looking to go anywhere else. But yeah, which I think Bjergsen. Bjergsen's a lifer. Yeah. I mean, until he's not good enough to be the t best mid laner yeah. on your team, he's staying there. Yeah. I think Smoothie absolutely still wants to be there. Yeah, I course. mean, he yeah. he was a lifer with Cloud Nine. It just happened that he got replaced. Yeah. Um, and and they found him a good spot. Yeah. Sven, the question's Sven. I think Sven wants to be there until he fucking makes it back to Worlds. So if he doesn't make Worlds this year, he'll give it an, one more year at TSM. Okay. Because he I missed... I like his prediction. That's a good one. I yeah, like well, that. he dominated on G2. Yeah. 
and then came here and yeah. missed World entirely. Yeah. And I think if he misses Worlds again, he he'll give it one more fucking go. Okay. Um, but will will he have to renew a contract, or will he just be? I have no idea what his contract is right okay. now. Huh. Right. I could look it up. Yeah. But uh, I mean, you can you can always Very like opt out of a contract or ask for a trade and yeah. stuff too. I feel like if if he misses Worlds this year, and gives it one more year, then he'll definitely yeah. be out. He'll so he's right back to the year. one position that I don't think is completely cemented on TSM is jungler. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, okay. it makes sense. They, they were even juggling around with this uh, this split. So it's like, okay, well, would Acadian stay? Would Gr- or, or would they play Acadian? Would they play Grig? Would they go up for those two against? Such a hard or would call. they try and get Blabber or somebody? Would they, they, try and get, would they try and get a jungler from elsewhere? I don't know. Like, it's so interesting. I think it's all so three of those would be possible from TSM unless they make Worlds. Yeah. In which case you stick with whoever got you there. If, if Acadian makes them... Worlds, I'd stick with the Katie. Right, because I mean he's not uh, he's not bad. I want to make sure I'm very clear on this. <laughs> he's not trash. He has just done trash things. Yeah, like well, and, that, and that no other jungler in the LC has LCS has done except for I think one other jungler didn't pick up a, a Rift Herald, but they, they the defending team kind of defended right, it. Right. Yeah. Um, Acadians so, no, was just alone. And yes. He, walked away. <laughs> he literally walked away from it. Uh, so he's the only one that has made those two big mistakes. Yeah. Really. And. Uh, and to be completely clear, mm-hmm. TSM's chance to make worlds is not an outside chance. It is a good chance. Mm-hmm. They have the second most points right now because they got <gasps> second last split. Yeah, that's true. It's TL, then TSM. Did CLC9 have second? Or did they No, because they beat Cloud9 in the semis. Oh, they got more points for that. Ooh. Yeah. It, it, first place got the most points, yeah. second place got next, third and fourth got the same amount of points. Wow. Okay, so they have second most in points right now. They do, right Very now. Cool. Very awesome. So, if they tie Cloud9 mm-hmm. in these playoffs, or beat them, mm-hmm. they are ahead of Cloud9. So weird. Because they've been dropping so many more games. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I mean, say Cloud9 doesn't get a first round bye, mm-hmm. and them and TSM are both in the first round, and they both lose, mm-hmm. TSM has more points than Cloud9. Wow. This is going to be interesting. Like, the next few weeks oh, are definitely going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. It, like, it's not... By any means impossible, that TSM makes Worlds kind of semi backpedaling in. Yeah, okay. uh, Hundred Thieves did it last year, backpedaling real fucking hard, <laughs> and they got second spot because yeah. they they had gotten second in the first split, mm-hmm. and they barely made playoffs. Yeah, and they got dumpstered, but that was enough to fucking make it because no other teams that were good the previous split did well the second split besides TL, who won both of them, so it didn't <laughs> matter. So it's like, oh, I guess we have the second most points. Yeah. So it's, it, it might happen again. TSM's just like, were you? Yeah. Stop like, it. <laughs> they're, they're backpedaling or backsliding wouldn't be as hard as 100 Thieves was last well, year. I'm, gl- I'm glad we totally touched possible. on TSM, by the way. That was, I think yeah, that was I'm neat, really glad uh, uh, Jeff brought games. it up. I think Jeff brought it up, right? Well, I mean, I was like, we need to talk about TSM. Or the game, more so than anything. Oh, okay, we started yeah. with the TSM Fox game. Oh, yeah, yeah. We looped around to it. Uh, oh, and that's really it. There's no other games that were crazy. CLG dominated oh, Fox. Fox. Just looking weird. forward to next week, man. <sighs> yeah. I mean, Cloud9, CLG, everybody's going to want to watch that horse race. And then, of course, Ooh, we should look at the Golden next Guardians, games. Optic, FlyQuest, and Clutch. Can you pull them up? For sure. Yeah, I'll pull it up right now. Uh, boop. It's my favorite part. Picking right. up the bubble wrap midget wrestling match. The I uh, just fox and fl- fox and fl- fly play. So there you go. <laughs> Am I it's wrong? No. I mean, it, it's like Th- that's obvious. a game for pride and no stakes. Yeah. Because at really that point, I, I I would almost guarantee after day one, FlyQuest will be eliminated, regardless of if mm-hmm. they win or not. Oh yeah, that's true. Because yeah. another team will probably win that stops them from having a chance. So okay, so it's obviously the bubble wrap midget wrestling match, but since it has like no way in on anything uh, still, I feel, still I feel like the bubble wrap like it should be something else where No, no, it's it's when two but... fuckers flail at each other and it's garbage. I guess that's fair. That's fair. Alright, so we've got CLG versus Optic. Mm-hmm. CLG is my vote on that. Yeah, Cloud Nine Golden Guardians. Cloud Nine on that. Yep. Um, yeah, although I would say that one's closer because mm-hmm. of Golden Guardians, not because of Cloud9. Okay. <laughs> like, I think I think Golden Guardians is enough better than Optic right now than Cloud9 is, you know, worse than CLG or uh, whatever, yeah. you okay. know. Yeah. I think CLG and Cloud9 are very close, and then I think Golden Guardians is above Optic, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, Clutch 100 Thieves. I, that I'm one's going to be a big fucking deal. It's so weird that I'm picking 100 Thieves so often. I almost picked them over the TSM game. I should have. I uh, should have. 100% should have. Should have. 
I should have too. Dominated. Anyways, I'm picking Hundred Thieves over Clutch. I just oh, don't yeah. really like Clutch. That so anymore? both of Clutch's games are going to be important to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, Fly TSM. And that mm. one, like, it's even questionable right now. I I think TSM, but it's yeah, not guaranteed. I think TSM. Well, I think TSM is gonna. I think I feel like they're gonna show up in this last week because they have got to. Yeah, like they've got to. And then Liquid and Fox. You know, the best part is if Fox wins that, they'll own the head to head. Uh, yeah, Fox yeah. and Cloud9 will own the head-to-heads. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. And CLG's the, the... Teal's only losses this year. Cloud9 twice, CLG once, and so far, and Echo Fox. Fox once. <laughs> yeah. It is gonna be a good match. The I, fuck, I Liquid? Do, I do not expect to, it to happen again. I don't think Liquid's gonna no, give it to him. I don't think... Well, unless they're already locked in and just don't... Fuck, well, they're not yeah. already locked in, though. Never mind. Yeah. They're only the, in playoffs, yeah. not by. Uh, so, day two, Optic Cloud9. I'm going to go with Cloud9. Yeah. I mean, I have to because... 100 Thieves CLG. This could also be a really interesting game. I think that's the match of the freaking week almost. I think it might be. We'll come back to it. We'll see. Yeah. Well, that or the, the Clutch 100. No, not Clutch mm-hmm. 100. So, yeah. Uh, TSM TL. Ooh. Ooh. I think 100 Thieves and CLG have been looking better overall than TSM recently. Mm-hmm. And I think because they're... And because I mean, it's a, it'll PL, be 100 Thieves... Thieves Playoff lives on in the balance. Mm-hmm. That's why I think that's probably still the game of the week. This one right here. I'm okay with this. Yeah, one I think that's game, game of the week. week. Okay. Uh, Golden Guardians and Clutch. I'm going. That's going to be another Golden important Guardians. game. Yeah. That may it, it may still be on the line. That game might decide who six slot is. Really? It might. It's very very possible. Yeah. Uh, and then Echo Fox and FlyQuest. <laughs> I'm picking FlyQuest, but we'll put that down as yeah. Bubble that's bubble wrap. Right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, now. I think you watched some uh, week nine last split at my place, right? And we did the folding yes. sheet. No. Oh, did I not have the folding? I sh- showed mm. you. Me- okay. Well, uh, that was the little sheet that basically like, yeah, a million miles long. Yeah. You were teaching me about it. Okay. I remember at one point. Yeah. I will have the folding sheets at my place next weekend <laughs> awesome. for this. So I, Jeff asked about the folding sheets earlier, and it's like hell yeah, I'm gonna have folding sheets. All right, so hundred thieves versus CLG. That's gonna be the game of the week. Yeah. But TSM versus TS- TL. Who do you think is gonna win? Like, I think TL. TL. Yeah. I, I, like, even if they're locked in, there's, one, there's a rivalry between Jensen and Bjergsen. Mm, fair. And it's double lift versus his old team still. It's double lift versus Sven. Yeah. Well, okay. not that. No, it's double lift versus his old team. His old team? Yeah, yeah. It, it's him That's versus fair. TSM. You him dropped... Versus, yes, him versus TSM. It, it is. It, well, because he, yeah. he used to be on CLG and that was a TSM rivalry. Mm-hmm. And then he was on TSM and then they fucking booted him. Yeah. And he's, okay. yeah. he's only, you know, won every fucking split since they booted him. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, TSM. Yeah. All right, so I'm picking TL on that one, too. I do think TL is the better team. Right. Yeah. If, you... if, if TSM wins, it's like... They fell into it. They tumbled down the road and right. there's like yeah. everyone. And if it, yeah. if it's still possible, like if TSM had lost to FlyQuest, you know TL will want to knock them out of yes. playoffs. Yeah. Just for the satisfaction. Hundred percent, of course. All right. I think I'm gonna go CLG on that hundred thieves versus CLG yeah. match. All right. So here's one last quick prediction. Mm. What two teams out of that bubble make playoffs? Because I think we we think TSM will make it. Is TSM in the bubble? TSM's not technically in the bubble. No, they're uh, they're not uh, the bubble. They technically they are in that they can miss playoffs. They're not locked in. Yeah. But uh, the, all they've got to do is win one or win one. or get certain teams to lose yeah. and they're fine. Okay. So I think we both think TSM will make yes. it. Yes. However, mm. or not not however, but on the other side here, mm-hmm. Golden Guardians Optic, Clutch Hundred Thieves. Which two do we think make it? I am hoping. I that think Golden Guardians. Yeah. I'm yeah. not hoping. I think they they have the best chance of any of the teams. I don't know that they, they have they the have, best chance, but well, I think they have the one game lead. Yeah, and if they beat Clutch, then they should they should be locked in at that point. I think because they would get they would have a game up. Uh, did they lose both? Oh, they did lose both to hundred, so mm-hmm. they're actually still at risk then. Yeah, fuck well, that I'm cloud nine. It's Golden right. Guardians and Hundred Thieves. That's who I want to see go I, into play. I think those are the best two. Optic, those four. I'm sorry, you put up a hell of a front run in the beginning of the split. But I got no dogs in that fight. And Clutch, you have a Texas logo. So I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> so I like you, Demonte and Lyra. But if you're doing a straight ranking, where, where do you put them? Who do you? I, I think mm, Golden Guardians Golden is probably Guardian. the best. Yeah. Then yeah. Hundred Thieves, then 100 Thieves six. Optic, Clutch. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Optic and Clutch. I feel like they're gonna tie somehow. Right. right. Well, but no, if you're ranking them, that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah. yeah. But they can both get seventh, right? Uh, yes, but if you're ranking them. I don't like ranking. You're so mean. Uh, that being said, definitely Optic first. <laughs> Optic, Optic first? Over Clutch? 
Oh, yes, over there. Over okay, yeah. Yeah, so you think Not Golden Gardens over 100 Thieves probably too? Yes. Oh, you yeah, think they're yeah. a better team right That's, now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, that wasn't yeah. hard. No. Yeah. yeah. I just I th- like if they get seventh both, then I'll I'll feel fine. <laughs> so whatever. It doesn't matter at that point to me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to do it here for episode 24 of yeah. League of Vloggers. Very excited for week nine. <sighs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm ready for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to be a fun one to watch. I hope I don't have shit going on next weekend. Uh, I'm, I'm busy Saturday. Sunday, though. So mat- cool. match is Sunday. Yeah. All right. Until next Monday, though, you have all have night. fun. We'll yeah. see you then. Peace.